You've most probably heard about binaural beats and you have probably tried it out too. In this episode, we'll be simplifying the concept of binaural beats. We'll talk about how they work and how they tend to influence different thoughts and emotions inside our brain. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Mind Over Matter with Sanket. In this episode, we'll be talking about how binaural beats work. So basically binaural beats means that there are two different sounds that you hear from your two ears. The two sounds that you hear are different in frequency, meaning that your left ear will be hearing some certain frequency while your right ear will be hearing some other frequency. You can try this out by listening to binaural beats with your headphones on. When you hear only from your left ear, you'll hear a certain frequency. And when you listen from your right ear, you'll listen to a similar sound, but a sound at a greater frequency or a lesser frequency. So what exactly happens when we listen to two different notes from two ears? Note that whenever you hear binaural beats from only one ear, what you hear is a static noise. However, when you listen to it from both your ears, you create this simulation inside your brain as if a particular sound note is oscillating between your two ears. Now, as you might know, different cognitive activities that go on inside your brain go on in a rhythmic pattern, meaning that there's a certain pattern to different kinds of emotions. This is also known as neural oscillation or brain waves. We have an entire series dedicated in explaining the different kinds of brain waves in our channel. Do not forget to check them out. Now, as we know, different cognitive activities have different frequency that's going on inside our mind. And whenever we use any external source to manipulate what's going on inside, while delta wave is associated with a state of deep sleep and relaxation, beta and gamma waves are related with high energy activities. There's a lot you can learn about any kind of brain waves on our channel. You should check that series out after watching this episode. Now, the most basic example with which you can understand how this works is by recalling the last time you listened to any music. You might have noticed how different kind of music makes you feel a certain emotion. This is also primarily related with the different frequency of vibrations that you listen to when you listen to a certain kind of music. Similar to binaural beats, earlier scientists also tried shining light of different frequency in front of people and even that turned out to work with people because that affected the vibration of neurons inside the human brain. Now, although binaural beats and brain waves are recent discoveries in science, the use of binaural beats and isochronic tones, but without their names, has been in use since a long time ago in history. The Greeks used music to heal their stress. Similarly, Africans and Native Americans use chanting and singing as a form of healing. This has also been common in Tibetan practices and also in yogic practices in parts of India and Nepal. Although it was not known by the name of binaural beats, they've always been practicing the act of listening to different frequencies from different ears, thereby creating a simulation inside the human brain and thereby altering one's mood as well. This was an introductory video regarding binaural beats. We'll be talking about specific frequency of binaural beats in our next episodes on this series. If you like this video, do not forget to press the like button. Also, if you like whatever is happening here at Sound Health Solution, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and to press the bell icon. Until next time.